Hello, fellow vacationers. Parsha Dvarim, in fact, Sefer Dvarim, is very interesting. Different than Shemot, which is the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, or Vayikra, which is mitzvot, or Bamidbar, which is counting and more mitzvot. Dvarim is a review of everything that happened when Bnei Yisrael left Mitzrayim until arriving at the Yardin, where they were now, at the Jordan River. The placement of this particular Sefer is also fascinating. Moshe gathers all of the Bnei Yisrael together, and they stand on the Jordan side overlooking Eretz Yisrael for Moshe to review everything that happened, all the mitzvot, all the stories, so that as we entered Eretz Yisrael, we would be full of knowledge of both how we got there and the Torah itself. You know, if we think about it, if we had the opportunity to represent the story of something we did, something that maybe we weren't so proud of, or something in which we were the hero of the story, it's very likely that we would utilize that opportunity to make minor little changes in the story, maybe make ourselves sound better, or present ourselves as the hero, or add in the things that we should have done. The people who Moshe was speaking to were people who did not necessarily know the difference. Yet Moshe goes out of his way to accept responsibility for mistakes like the Miraglim, the spies. Moshe is not embarrassed to accept that responsibility. And that's really an important message about both being responsible and always being honest. Honesty is the best policy. When we're telling over a story, when we're doing something, when we do something wrong, and our parents ask us what we did, honesty is the best way to answer that question. Being completely honest. So as we move into Tisha B'Av, which is scheduled for Shabbat, and we celebrate it on Sunday this week, let's think about the responsibility aspect of what could we do that would help build the upcoming Be'er HaMikdash. And the honesty about what we could be better in. What can we help ourselves and challenge ourselves to do greater? Hopefully, this year Tisha B'Av, we will celebrate on Shabbat as a Yom Tov, as a holiday. And next year we will not have a Tisha B'Av. Shabbat Shalom.